Welcome back to your one-stop destination for captivating recaps. If you're new to the channel, congratulations, you're in for a treat. Today, we're diving into another thrilling recap. So, grab your popcorn, sit back, and get ready to mesmerize. The film opens with a gripping scene. Jonas Taylor and his rescue squad are en route to a damaged submarine to save survivors. Amidst a grim sea of bodies, Jonas discovers a wounded soldier, hoisting him onto his shoulder with the intent to reach their escape craft. But as they near their goal, the submarine shudders from an attack. In the chaos, an enormous creature hammers the sub, tearing its hull apart and leaving the distinct mark of its teeth in the twisted steel. The rescue leader, amid this turmoil, orders everyone to the escape vehicle, but a jam hatch traps several team members. Jonas, torn between saving others and the imminent danger, realizes the monstrous attacker isn't relenting and the submarine is taking on water. With a heavy heart, fearing for the lives of those already saved, he makes the grim decision to seal the hatch, escaping with only those inside. This choice, however, brings disdain, particularly from Dr. Heller, who blames Jonas for abandoning their comrades. Fast forward five years, a team of scientists on the Mana One platform near China's coast receives a visit from Morris, the project's chief investor. Zhang, the program director, welcomes Morris, introduces him to his daughter, Su In, and the rest of the team. They head to the central shaft, the heart of the operation, connecting all the labs. In the control room, Zhang introduces Morris to the essential personnel. Matt hands Morris a transmitter to communicate with the submersible team, just as mission pilot Laura introduces herself before embarking on a dive into the marina trench's depths. As the submersible descends, Zhang discusses a provocative theory that the trench floor might be a mere hydrogen layer, suggesting unknown depths below. Lori and her team reach an astonishing 11,000 meters, confirming Zhang's hypothesis by entering new waters beneath the gas cloud. Here, they turn on auxiliary lights and begin cataloging the unfamiliar ecosystem. The team decides to release an ROV Pro, operated from Mana 1 by DJ. However, Tashi's radar detects an unidentified object and DJ activates additional lights in response, only to lose contact with the probe. In an attempt to locate it, Lori turns on the submersible's lights, but they too are struck, losing contact with Mana 1 and becoming stranded in the depths. In this deep sea drama, it seems their depth of trouble is more than just a figure of speech. At Mana 1, Matt gathers the team for a strategy session. Heller assures them that the submersible's crew is alive, but their oxygen is limited. Jax, an engineer, remarks on the unprecedented depth of their situation. Mac recalls Jonas's previous rescue mission, sparking a debate about his reliability. Heller criticizes Jonas, but Chang, believing Lori encountered the same creature as Jonas, insists on finding him for the rescue. Jonah Taylor, now living a withdrawn life, is approached by Mac and Jang, the project heads who need his help for a daring rescue mission. Initially, Jonah is resolute in his refusal, claiming no force on Earth could change his mind. That is until Mac plays his ace. Jonah's ex-wife, Lori, is leading the stranded team. This revelation makes Jonah reconsider in a heartbeat. As Zhang flies Jonah to Mana 1, Lori and her crew are fighting for survival, managing to reboot their systems. But their triumph is short-lived as the monstrous creature returns, causing an accident that injures Lori. With Lori in dire straits and oxygen running low, she makes a bull move to use a glider to tow the submersible to safety. Just as she initiates this desperate plan, Jang's helicopter, with Jonah on board, touches down. Jonah and Heller, an old adversary, immediately clash, but Jonah, focused on the mission, brushes it aside and preps for the dive. Here, he meets Sween's young daughter, who earnestly asks him to ensure her mother's safe return. Looks like Jonah's got more than just deep sea pressure to deal with. Jonah's dive is a plunge into danger. He pushes the submersible to its limits, experiencing the physical toll of the rapid descent. Meanwhile, Suyin, in her glider at the ocean floor, unwittingly attracts the giant creature with her lights. She locates the stranded submersible, but is then attacked by a colossal squid, leading to a near-fatal pressure buildup in her capsule. In a dramatic twist, a massive shark, the Megalodon, intervenes, saving Suyin from certain death. Jonah, realizing the creature's attraction to light, instructs Suyin to turn off her glider's lights, a task complicated by a malfunction. In a race against time, he diverts the Megalodon with flares, enabling Suyin to ascend. Left behind, Jonah successfully attaches to the submarine and rescues the crew, including his ex-wife, just as the Megalodon returns. In a brave act, Tashi, the sidekick, sacrifices himself to lure the Megalodon away, allowing the rest to escape. Back at Mana 1, Jonah and Lori reunite in the infirmary, where Heller extends a belated apology for his previous doubts. Jonah, devoid of any bitterness, asks only for Lori's well-being. 
In a moment of respite, the team reconvenes with Suian providing crucial insights into the Megalodon, setting the stage for their next course of action. In the midst of the crisis, Morris shows his true colors. Despite the terrifying presence of the Megalodon and a loss of $50 million, his greed takes precedence. He insists on continuing the project, fearing the financial implications of abandoning it due to the Megalodon's discovery. Jonah, on the other hand, is adamant about not risking another rescue, aware of the colossal risk the Megalodon poses. Meanwhile, Mang, a child on the platform, has a chilling encounter with the Megalodon while exploring. Her screams alert the adults, who find her unharmed but shaken. Outside, the Megalodon demonstrates its might, devouring whales. Jax, analyzing the data, hypothesizes that Jonas' passage through the hydrogen cloud created a low-pressure zone, inadvertently leading the Megalodon to their world. An emergency signal from sunken ships prompts a new investigation. Suspecting the Megalodon's involvement, the team embarks on a mission to the coordinates. They find a destroyed shark fishing vessel, an ironic twist given the Megalodon's presence nearby. As they ponder their next move, the Predator appears intent on revenge. Chang suggests a bold plan involving a cage and harpoons to inject a lethal dose into the shark. But given the time needed to set up the cage, they decide on a more immediate solution, placing a tracker on the Megalodon. Shuing proposes a risky approach, swimming close to the shark to attach the tracker, hoping its slow movements won't draw attention. Jana bravely volunteers for the daring task. He dives into the ocean, surrounded by carcasses, and inches towards the massive predator. With the tracker successfully implanted, DJ hastily reels Jonah back, but the Megalodon senses the disturbance and charges. A frantic escape ensues, with Jonah narrowly avoiding the shark's jaws. Now with the tracker on the Megalodon, the team prepares a new plan involving a polycarbonate cage and harpoons, Loaded with Aberfun charges, puts it enough to kill the shark. Shuian, armed with the harpoon, waits in the cage as bait is released into the ocean, attracting lemon sharks. The tension escalates as the Megalodon closes in, detected less than 50 meters away. Shuian, stealing herself, prepares to confront the immense creature as it aggressively approaches the cage. However, the Megalodon, more cunning than anticipated, evades its initial attempts and returns to strike again, this time engulfing Shuian's entire cage in its massive jaws. On the verge of being swallowed, Shuei manages to fire the harpoon into the shark's mouth, a desperate signal to the crew that she's trapped inside. <laughs> Reacting swiftly, Jonah dives into the water, making his way toward the cage. As he approaches, a sudden detachment of the crane from the boat jolts the cage, causing Suin to hit her head on the railing, shattering her mask and causing her to lose consciousness and oxygen rapidly. With the cage sinking rapidly, Jonah's intervention is critical. He reaches the cage just in time to rescue Suian, who is now unconscious. As they attempt to swim to safety, the bloodthirsty Megalodon pursues them. In a twist of fate, the steel cable attached to the shark prevents it from reaching them, and the Megalodon ultimately overdoses from the Aberfing, collapsing just meters away from Jonah. The crew, relieved at the defeat of the giant predator, brings Suian back to the ship. After regaining consciousness, she joins the others to find that they have managed to bring the Megalodon's body on board. In an attempt to lighten the mood, DJ playfully suggests Jonah take a photo with the creature. However, this lighthearted moment turns tragic when Navigator, posing for the photo, is knocked into the water by the moving crane and devoured by a second, even larger Megalodon that has come to feast on the first. Just when they thought it was safe to go back in the water, it turns out it's more of a two-for-one shark deal. The immense weight of the two sharks causes the boat to capsize, throwing the crew into the shark-infested waters. Survival instincts kick in as the team scrambles onto the overturned hull. Heller and Jack, separated from the others, begin swimming cautiously towards the group. The Megalodon, however, detects their movements. In a selfless act, the group's doctor, recognizing the imminent danger, draws the shark's attention, allowing Jax to reach safety. Despite the devastating losses, the surviving crew members know they must leave the perilous waters. They opt to return to Mana 1 using lifeboats. On the platform, Morris reveals his decision to inform the Chinese government of the Megalodon and temporarily shut down the project. However, he secretly commandeers a helicopter loaded with demolition charges, aiming to eliminate the Megalodon himself to avoid potential lawsuits. Morris drops bombs into the ocean, mistakenly believing he has killed the Megalodon. The crew, thinking they are collecting teeth from the Megalodon, soon realize they have actually killed a whale. As they make this grim discovery, Morris, checking the tracker, sees the Megalodon directly below and orders his team to speed up. In a twist of fate, he loses his grip and falls into the water, becoming prey to the Megalodon along with the whale carcass. Back at Mana 1, Mac discovers Morris's deception about the Chinese government's involvement, 
prompting Jonah and the team to take decisive action against the prehistoric predator. Taking command of the rescue ship, the team tracks the Megalodon as it heads towards Somnia Bay, a bustling beach in China. They anchor near the shore and devise a final strategy, using a cell phone to imitate whale sounds to lure the shark. Meanwhile, beach rovers remain blissfully unaware of the imminent danger. The Megalodon makes a dramatic entrance, leaping from the water to devour a raft full of people, causing chaos among the swimmers. One unfortunate man inside an inflatable ball meets a horrific end in the shark's jaws. As the Megalodon heads towards the mass of swimmers, DJ's cell phone sound diverts it, narrowly averting a massacre. In the water, Suin and Jonah prepare to confront the beast using their gliders. Jonah, spotting the shark, initially aims a missile, but redirects it to avoid hitting their own boat, leading him through a coral reef. The maneuver results in a collision that temporarily hampers his submersible, but he quickly recovers. Jonah, undeterred, continues his plan, attempting to draw the Megalodon towards Suin for a clear shot. Despite a missile hitting nearly inside its mouth, the Megalodon survives. The intense action draws the attention of press helicopters, but a distracted pilot causes a collision, leading to a catastrophic crash on their ship, forcing the crew into the water. Oblivious to the disaster on the ship, Suin keeps luring the Megalodon, hoping to give Jonah another shot. However, when a missile misfires, Jonah is knocked overboard. Suin, upon realizing the ship's plight, surfaces and is relieved to find her daughter and DJ safe. Jonah, left to confront the Megalodon alone, feigns a swim upwards before plunging downward with a piece of metal from the ballast, ripping open the shark's belly. Despite this, the Megalodon manages to hit him with its fin and swallows the capsule. In a desperate struggle, Jonah, now exposed to the open sea, retrieves the metal piece from the ballast and uses it as a weapon. He bravely mounts the shark's face, plunging the steel stake into its eye. This heroic act finally defeats the Megalodon, attracting hundreds of smaller sharks to feast on its carcass. After the intense battle, the team surfaces rejoicing in their narrow escape. Life resumes for each member, marked by the lingering possibility of another mega shark emerging from the depths. Subscribe for more videos like this and turn on the notification bell so you don't miss out. Leave us a like to help us out and comment your thoughts on the video. Stay awesome!